So when this last cyber attack hit, were you one of the ones that were panicking because maybe you didn't think you had enough gas? Did you get in your car and run down and fill up? Did you take your gas cans with you that you use maybe for your lawn equipment and that type of stuff and top them all off? Why? Why do you want to put yourself in that whole type of scenario? Panic buying. What makes that really a thing? Why do we do that? Why do we engage with the chaos? We're going to cover that coming up here shortly. So welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners, where we thrive to survive. And today we're going to be talking about the chaos of all these situations and what goes into this, what they so-called panic buy. Okay, so the chaos in all these different types of situations, we've all seen what has taken place. We all see what happens when something out of the ordinary happens, whether it be a natural disaster, whether it be a cyber attack, whether it be anything that comes out of the blue. And they're gonna keep coming at us, folks. This is what I just want people to understand, is this isn't just a one-time deal and it's over and done with. These things are going to continue and to avoid the whole panic of being, you, you don't have this or you don't have that or anything else. You don't have supplies put up. You don't have emergency equipment. You don't have anything. And in that momentary lapse of reason, all of a sudden your little brain kicks in and the light bulb goes off. And the next thing you know, you're one of those panic buyers. You're out there trying to get every last little crumb off the shelf that you can find and to survive. Now, here on Survival Preparedness for Beginners, we're always talking about being prepared. We want to thrive to survive, correct people? So we wanna make sure that we are doing as much as possible to make sure that we are ready for anything that comes down the pike, whether it's a cyber attack, a natural disaster, whatever it may be. But the thing of it is, and the whole key to the situation is being prepared. Now people are panic buying. They were panic buying gas. Well, during the pandemic, we all saw what they did in the grocery stores. Everybody flocked to the stores, emptied them completely out. I mean, all the shelves right down from whatever, from your canned goods, dry goods, everything was gone. Toilet paper, that was the first to go, right? Everybody was panic buying. Everybody was just throwing anything that was left in the store in their carts. They probably won't even eat half this stuff, but they did it because their brain told them they had to. You see, our chemistry and everything else is prone to this whole panic type situation. When something happens, we can't control. And the next thing you know, you're second guessing yourself wanting to know, do I have enough of this? Do I have enough of that? Do I have this supplies? Do I have this supplies? It's what happens all the time. And then you turn around and it happens with hurricanes. Every time a hurricane rolls into town, what's the first thing that goes? Generators. Everybody flocks to the store to buy a generator. Why don't you have one anyways? If you live in a hurricane prone area, you should have a generator. You should have battery banks. You should have solar so you can charge your battery banks because Lord knows how long, you know, you can run on which, how much gas you have stored up. You know, you can only store as much as you safely can store. It's not like you can have a thousand gallon tank in your backyard. And if you do, well, then you're one of the lucky few. But it all rolls back to that panic buying. But there's no reason for it. As long as you're prepared and you're ready for any type of a situation. You know, panic buying, it helps um, people, ah, what's the word I want? Feel in control of a situation, okay? Because they feel, when they're putting all this stuff in their carts and they, you know, they got all this stuff and sometimes most of it, they're not even going to use, eat or whatever else, or they don't even know how to use it or anything. It's a waste of money. 
And not to mention that most people, when they go into panic buy and everything else, they're throwing all this on their credit cards, which does no good for anybody except for put you in debt, which you don't want to do. You know, we have all this stuff that's going on. You have civil unrest, you have cyber attacks, we've had the pandemic, we've had, we're coming into hurricane season, we go through it every year. And the things are just gonna keep rolling around and around and they're not gonna go away. They're only gonna get worse as we go in time. You know, there's the whole question of the money and everything else in this country. What is our situation? The amount of debt that's in this country, not just in the government, but in the people. So if you can pay off your some of your bills and stuff and, and get out from underneath that, that'd be a big relief off of you. You just don't know what is going to happen. Now, I'm not saying you have to get rid of all your credit cards and everything else, but if you can relive a debt free life, it'll be a lot easier for you in the long run. And as a prepper, that should be part of your prepping. See, you just don't prep just for your food, water, supplies, and everything else. You have to prep mentally to be able to deal with the situation when the situation arises and comes along. And this way here, you will be prepared. You will not be part of the chaos. You won't be the ones that are panic buying in the stores. You won't be running around and trying to grab those last minute items and everything else, you will not be putting or subjecting your family to a situation of that magnitude. Because in the end, you want to avoid those, seg those types of situations and you want to avoid things that are going on. So I'm survival preparedness for beginners and I want everybody out there to thrive to survive. And until next time, everybody just keep prepping, keep doing what you're doing, because we all can make it through any storm together. And we all can learn something from each other. So until then, I'll catch all of you on the flip side.